Good morning, Lancaster Catholic. I'm Jamie Ely. And I'm Michelle Lee. Today's Friday, January 24th, AB Day, and here's what you need to know. Today's lunch is cheese ravioli, side salad, Italian bread, tomato soup, grilled cheese, egg salad, and tuna salad. A reminder to all Crusader Quiz Bowl team members, you guys have a home match against Cedar Crest High School next Monday. Don't forget to report to the library right after the dismissal. Good luck. Tickets go on sale today for the Varsity Club Super Bowl celebration. For $3, you will get a chance to pick the winning team and score of the game. And you get a dress down day next Friday the 31st. For $5, you get three guesses. All proceeds go to Veterans Victory House. If you're a senior planning to play sports in college, stop at the athletic office by February 3rd to register for National Signing Day. The ceremony is held on February 5th. You are welcome to invite parents and friends. Hey girls, here's your chance to ask your favorite guy to a dance. It's the Sadie Hawkins dance. Rachel is here with two prom committee members to talk about something that's new this year. I'm here with Hannah and Laura to talk about Sadie's and our new data match. Hannah, when will Sadie's be held this year? Sadie's will be held on Saturday, February 22nd at 7 p.m. And how much will tickets cost? Tickets will be $10 per person from February 10th through February 19th, but if you wait till Thursday or Friday before the dance, you will pay $12 per ticket. And what if someone wants to bring a guest? Guest forms are available now and must be returned to Mrs. Howe before the tickets can be purchased. Is there anything else we should know about Sadie's? In conjunction with Sadie's, we will be hosting the Sir Valentine competition. Seniors will vote in homeroom next week to determine the court. Those on the court will be soliciting donations during lunches the two weeks prior to the dance. Okay. And Laura, what is Data Match about? Uh, well, Data Match is a quiz, Think Like BuzzFeed, uh, that you guys can take to find out who you're most compatible with. And how do we get this survey information? Uh, well, it will be distributed in Homeroom on Monday, January 27th. Uh, the, you guys can log into the survey at any time during the week of the 27th, and it will close on the 31st. And when do we get those results? Uh, the results come in uh, for February 10th through the 13th. Uh, they'll be available during lunches for $3. Okay, thank you. Thanks, girls. And now for a news brief. President Trump's impeachment trial is well underway. The prosecution and the defense have just three days to present their cases. The Democrats are demanding to hear from witnesses. The Republicans rejected that idea for now, but say that they might call some to testify to later in the trial. Skyrocketing medical bills can ruin a family's finances. The LCBC Church is trying to help. The megachurch collected donations statewide and, by working with a national nonprofit, has been able to pay off $2.5 million in medical debt for over 1,500 Pennsylvanians. 800 of them live here in Lancaster County. Penn State is in hot water again. The Alpha Epsilon Phi fraternity has been suspended after allegations of sexual assault were made. A student reported that four frat brothers assaulted her. This comes weeks after a lawsuit was launched against the football team for violent hazing. Our basketball teams are doing great. The boys are undefeated in league play, and so are the girls after a hard-fought win over Northern Lebanon. Both teams are first in section ratings. The boys host Octorera tonight, and the girls are away. The comedy world has lost a legend. Terry Jones died at 77 after a battle with a rare form of dementia. He was a founding member of Monty Python. He acted in and directed the group's films, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, Life of Brian, and Meaning of Life. A life-threatening virus is sweeping through southern China. Doctors confirm that people are spreading this coronavirus. So to contain it, China has quarantined everyone in three large cities. That's 22 million people. A traveler from China brought the first case to the U.S. when he landed in Washington state. Millions of Chinese will be traveling this weekend for Chinese New Year, also known as the Spring Festival. And 2020 is the year of the rat. In Chinese culture, rat is a zodiac animal that symbolizes wealth and surplus. People usually celebrate by gathering with families and share their wealth. If you have a birthday today, you share it with John Belushi. He is known primarily for his work on SNL, as well as for his work in Animal House and the Blues Brothers. Have a great day, Crusaders. <laughs>